what about a woman who says she wants an abortion because she's not ready to be a mom, right? And I feel like that looks like empowerment to a lot of people. Like, you know what? You go, girl. Like, it's your body. You could do whatever you want. But then when a guy says it, how dare he say something like that? Like, how selfish of him? Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. It's a quote by William Congreve um, in a play that he wrote in the year 1697. Now in the year 2023, I feel like it would go something like this. Hell hath no fury like the internet when a woman is scorned. Now, we all know what's going on. Britney Spears has a new memoir that is out. It's called The Woman in Me. And it actually comes out, it's not out yet, but it actually comes out on October 24th. Now, of course, when memoirs are getting ready to be released, a lot of little juicy excerpts are released. And um, she's put a few out there. The biggest bombshell being that she was pregnant with Justin Timberlake's baby and she had an abortion. So... She has put this out there and the internet is going crazy as usual, right? When something hot drops, <laughs> the internet has to be on it. Now, when I heard this, I of course was surprised like everybody else, but what I'm also looking at is how everybody else is reacting to this new information, right? So these are Britney's secrets. So let's look at this from a different angle. This is a secret that Britney had between her and Justin. So when they were younger, from what I've looked up, this happened maybe when they were 18, 19 years old, right? Like Justin was probably 19 and Brittany was about 18 years old. And some Somewhere around that time, they were having a relationship. You know, if we really go back, their relationship is very publicized. I mean, they've known each other since they were teenagers and they ended up falling in love. I think it was called the Mickey Mouse Club or something like that. And, you know, they kind of like spent their formative years together, you know, Teenagers in love, right? And I guess at some point, you know, as they got older, um, they ended up, you know, getting together and they had a relationship. Now, Brittany's memoir is essentially saying that at some point they ended up having, you know, they ended up getting pregnant. Now, this is something in her past, right? That she has chosen to reveal to everybody in the world. Um, most people are actually very happy and super supportive of this memoir that Britney has. And, you know, a lot of people feel like this is information that kind of sheds light on a lot of her behavior and, you know, things that people didn't understand back then when 
so much was happening in her life that seemed so out of touch. Um, so now that she has come out with this memoir and, you know, this specific detail, a lot of people have now essentially turned on Justin because of this information. So she pretty much says that, look, so I'm going to just kind of summarize for you here, but she pretty much says when she found out she was pregnant and, you know, her and Justin talked about it, she in her mind felt like, you know what? I know we're kind of young and, you know, this is earlier than I expected. You know, I love Justin and, you know, I feel like I want to have kids with him someday anyway. Like, but, you know, I, I, I'm okay with the fact that I'm pregnant. You know, that's essentially how Brittany felt. But then when talking to Justin, um, from her excerpt in the memoir, she basically says that, Justin wasn't happy that she was pregnant and he essentially was pushing for, you know, an abortion. And, um, you know, she at the time wasn't really sure that that's what she wanted, but eventually they both agreed that this was the, the decision they were going to make. Um, Justin felt like they were young and, you know, I think when we think about it, yes, they were young, right? But this is something they both decided. Now, the thing that gets to me is people are publicly shaming Justin for um, feeling this way, for saying this, right? But I had to dig a little deeper and I found that People are mostly upset because there was a period of time after their breakup that it felt like Justin did this whole, you know, media tour. And, you know, at that time, Brittany was claiming that she would wait till marriage to lose her virginity. But, you know, when Justin was on his media tour, he opened up about, you know, how he's already been with her and that. Basically, she's not a virgin, right? So back then, I do not know how people felt about that revelation, but it seems like Justin went on and, you know, continued to be in the good graces of the public back then. You know, he went on to have his solo album. They were already broken up. Um, he dated other celebrities, and he came out with a few songs and um, one of which was Cry Me a River. And a lot of people, you know, attribute that to him claiming that Britney actually um, cheated on him. But this is all alleged, right? People make all these speculations, but nobody really knows what happened? Justin hasn't come out and said what made them break up. In fact, in some of the, you know, news interviews that I saw with Justin, they asked him specifically, hey, what happened? And he never came out and spelled out and said, you know what? She did this. She did that. You know, but everybody else speculated that you know, since he said he had his heart broken, then she must have cheated since he did the cry me a river video and the girl looked kind of like Brittany in the video, then that's probably what happened. So he's received or currently receiving a lot of backlash for that. Right now, my thing is, when can the past be the past? If everybody is scorned and they keep going back to the past because they haven't gotten over it or to them they have gotten over it, but this is all part of the healing process to let go, 
then how do people move forward into the future, right? For example, now that this has come up, like I said, Justin is being looked at as a villain. Like, how could he have done all the things he did in his career from the interviews to creating the songs while knowing that Britney had to have an abortion um, after she got pregnant by him. I mean, (sighs) it sounds like a lot. I just feel like people have, or maybe the internet, they have a way of judging people for things that were so long ago as if they happened today. As if it literally just happened. You know, we don't really know what happened in the room when they had this conversation about Britney being pregnant. We don't really know what the emotions were. Um, We don't know how Justin truly felt after that decision was made. So the internet, however, somehow dissects things in a way where they now look at Justin as like, you know, they cut things from the past, you know, certain pieces of it. And then they use it to weave a storyline of how things probably were without really having been there, right? I think that's the main part. None of these people chiming in and claiming how horrible, you know, this was were ever there. They were not in the room. (laughs) It was just Justin and Brittany. But the fact that this is coming from Brittany, who has been going through a lot these past how many years? Essentially, since her breakup with Justin, she's not really done that great. I think she has had some good times. You know, she did get married. She did have two sons. Um, I think she's been married a couple of times or so. And she had, you know, a residence in Vegas, right? Like, which was so talked about, so popular. Um, So I feel like she did okay. But there has been glimpses into her life that she shows us and, you know, through her social media. And people do get worried. But I feel for the most part, she's managed to get back on track. You know, she had that court case last year that she won against her father and the conservatorship. So I feel like things are looking up for Britney. Now, the fact that she has put out this memoir and little details keep on being brought out, um, I think it's a good way, of course, to market the book. But (laughs) now Justin can't just drink water and relax. Like, (laughs) it's like he now has to go through this public dragging for something that occurred many years ago. By the way, everybody talks about how Britney was so young when it happened and you know, she was going through a lot to have gone through that, a breakup, then, you know, all this. Justin was young as well. (laughs) Let's not forget that. I've looked at some of the clips and I'm like, oh my God, like, he looks like a baby. (laughs) Even just seeing um, the Barbara Walters interview, I was just kind of like, Justin looks like a kid and it's interesting that they have these adults asking him these grown-up questions like 
he was sitting there with his mom next to him and you know he's being asked oh like about his sex life with Britney like hello like <laughs> why is that a question um and same for Britney too she had an interview with Diane Sawyer and I think she had some other interviews but at that time she was young as well and I think this was after the breakup and they're asking these kids all these adult questions about their relationship because of how publicized it was. But the truth is that shouldn't have been the case. Um, looking back right now, I just feel that they were both young. They fell in love as teenagers. It was pretty intense. They were also public figures at that young age. So that's just a different kind of life experience, right? So for people to come out today and throw mud at Justin for what he did back then, okay, yeah, he went around the radio and said things about, you know, what he, you know, he leaked information about her virginity, blah, blah, blah. Dude, that sounds like an immature ass young dude. <laughs> Someone who should have known better, but didn't because I mean, he was just a young kid, 19, 20. They had been together since they were little, you know, at the Mickey Mouse Club. I mean, why are we holding that over his head? You know, it happened. I don't know. How old is Justin now? <laughs> is he like, I feel like he's in his 40s or something. But that was a long time. You know, the abortion, that was a long time too. But what I think, now I guess this kind of goes back to that quote I said, is Brittany was very much in love with Justin and had mapped out this whole plan of them being together forever. And that happens with a lot of young girls, right? Like you have this huge crush and then you end up being with your crush and then you just have these big dreams of being with them forever. I feel like that that's normal. Um, but I think what happened is in the mix of being, you know, the pop um, stars, in the midst of being the pop stars that they were and also young, it was kind of hard to go through that breakup. And maybe there wasn't a complete closure, you know? And on top of that, Britney's life has just, you know, it was just very tumultuous after that. So she's never truly had like, you know, peace where a lot of her life has just been lived in the background. It's always been one salacious headline or another. So I think this book is an opportunity for her to just say things from her own heart, from her own experience directly, as opposed to what we read in headlines, what we saw in the tabloids, what the paparazzi was sharing, what the conservatorship was saying. I think this is just an opportunity for her to just speak from her heart, from her point of view. But to bring up something like the abortion up, it shows me that she never got over it. And, you know, I am nobody to tell anybody how to get over anything. So there's that. But because she never got over it, it is sipping its way into today. You know, it happened decades ago, but it's being talked about today because it's something that she never completely let go of. Now, you know, Justin has done a few things since then. He has 
you know, apparently he's really pro-choice and does a lot of pro-choice, like speaks about pro-choice and stuff like that, um, including his wife, Jessica Biel. So it seems like Justin has just kind of like moved on with his life, right? He seems more private. Like we don't know a whole lot besides some of the crazy things that happened, right? But I think my question here is when can the past just be the past? When can someone just move on with their life? And, you know, 20 years from now, something not creep up <laughs> um, and basically bring them down, you know, in the internet, you know, because that's that cancel culture, you know? Cancel culture court. Who's up right now? Justin Timberlake. And he's been there before. That's the funny part. But with this new information, I think it's probably a bit scary. Um, and also, it seems like whatever his decisions were to not move forward with that abortion it just seems as if it's being put to the side like it's it's not important you know he's just looked at as a guy who said no I don't want an abortion because no he's looked at as a guy who said no he wants the abortion because he's not ready to be a dad and that seems like a bad thing but what about a woman who says she wants an abortion because she's not ready to be a mom, right? And I feel like that looks like empowerment to a lot of people. Like, you know what? You go, girl. Like, it's your body. You could do whatever you want. But then when a guy says it, who also partook in the making of this, you know, baby or almost baby, <laughs> Or this, the making of this pregnancy, right? When a guy says it, it's like, how dare he say something like that? Like, how selfish of him? So that's just another, like, angle to look at. But other than that, I wonder how Justin is going to handle this situation. Um there seems to be a thing about dragging the past out into the present that is going on in the world today. And I can't say that it's my favorite thing because it's kind of like, how long can you hold on to this stuff? <laughs> you know, cause you need to heal, right? You need to heal from these things. And holding on to it for so long just seems like a lot. But overall, I am glad that Brittany is speaking her, th her truth. But at what cost, right? Who else is in the book? Who else is going to get dragged? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I would like to know what you think about this. I would like to know your thoughts. And I really enjoyed connecting with you on this video. Until next time, talk to you in my next video.